हेलो आ नमस्ते देर आर सम स्पेशल फंक्शन विच हैव इम्पॉर्टेंस इन मैथमेटिकल एनालिसिस फंक्शन एनालिसिस फिजिक्स और अदर एप्लीकेशन सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन विल बी स्टडिंग टू स्पेशल फंक्शन गामा एंड बीटा फंक्शन द बीटा फंक्शन इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज दूलर्स इंटीग्रल ऑफ द फर्स्ट काइंड एंड द गामा फंक्शन इज एन एक्सटेंशन of the factorial function to the real and complex numbers and it's also known as euler integral of the second kind gamma function is component in various probability distribution functions it also appears in various areas such as asymptotic series definite integration number theory and so on or so many functions many many applications are there for the gamma function so under this gamma and beta function we'll be starting with the gamma function because beta function is based upon the actually the definition itself is based upon the definition of a gamma function or you can say a gamma function so therefore we'll be starting with the gamma function and this particular session will be dedicating towards the introduction of the session or introduction of the function now what exactly the gamma function is gamma function is defined by the improper integral integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 dx where this n is greater than 0 and the notation as gamma of n gamma of n so this is a definition of gamma function there is an alternative uh, uh, you can say a form of a gamma function also there so it's known as it's it's given as gamma of n is equals to 2 times integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus x square into x to the power 2n minus 1 dx so this is the alternative or the uh, the another definition of a gamma function let us prove this this is a very simple just by the integration we need to have it here so to prove this alternative definition or alternate definition we have to make use of the definition of a gamma function that is gamma of n is equals to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 dx now and in this particular if you observe this is the definition of this uh, you can say a gamma function wherein if you observe here if you observe here the variable of this particular integration is x and if you observe here x to the power 2 and minus 1 is coming over here that means what we will have to change our integration the other variable in such a way that we should have something like this that means the substitution would be x is equals to t square so if x is equals to t square dx becomes 2t dt and therefore gamma of n or you can say this particular equation becomes here gamma of n is equals to the integration 0 to infinity e to the power so every x we are replacing it as t square and dx by 2 t into dt and what about the limit limit will be same as this x is tending to 0 t will also move to 0 and if x t is tending to infinite x is tending to infinity t will also move to 0 that means for this x and t if x is 0 t will also be 0 if x is infinity then t will also be an infinity so this limit would be uh, same as that and therefore this is what we have to have it now this is t to the power 2t minus 2 into t to the power 1 over here and that can be combined together and will be getting two times integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus t square t to the power 2n minus 1 dt and suppose if we'll just replacing because we need it in terms of x over here so if i'll just replace t by x it's not a substitution understand it just we are replacing x by t because they have asked us in terms of x so only that for that sake we are changing it t replacing by x everywhere so we have got this alternate definition for gamma function then properties of a gamma function there are basically two important properties now this property one is gamma of n plus 1 is equals to n into gamma of n which is also known as recurrence or reduction formula for the gamma function now under this there are uh, different notes out of that the first note goes as gamma of n plus 1 is equals to n factorial if n is a positive integer that means if we have got n is something like 1 2 3 4 5 and so on that means it should belongs to the z plus that is a positive integer then this second note says that gamma of n plus 1 is equals to n into gamma of n if n is positive real number 
so it will be it, this this n is belongs to the real number but it is a positive it should be a positive it should not be a negative there is another formula for n is negative fraction or in a negative number here so gamma of n is equals to gamma of n plus 1 upon n when this n is a negative fraction so n is a negative fraction means say for 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 5 by 8 minus uh, 12 by 13 and so on so this is what the formula we are going to use it when it is in fraction and gamma of n into gamma of n 1 minus n is equals to pi upon sine of p n pi now this this formula can also be written as few of the books are giving this as gamma of p into gamma of 1 minus p is equals to pi upon sine of p pi so instead of just n they are just giving this formula with the p one and the same thing and this p will lie between 0 to 1 this is the property 1 and the nodes based on this property second property goes as gamma of 1 by 2 is equals to root of pi so this particular session i'm not dedicating for this uh, proofs uh, uh, so far so there is a very pretty good uh, proof for this gamma of 1 by 2 is equals to square root of pi and gamma of n plus 1 is equals to n into gamma of n so this these are the very important and you can say uh, the interesting proofs but i'm i'm not uh, limiting to that particular uh, proofs for this particular session okay so we'll be having just one or two questions so find the value of gamma of five minus five by two i just wanted you all to understand this particular property and the the how to and when to prove when to use this type of properties so find this is gamma of minus five by two we know that gamma of n is equal to gamma of n plus one upon n if n is negative fraction so what is a negative fraction n in this case is minus five by two so minus 5 by 2 for that sake we have to use make use of this so gamma of minus 5 by 2 is equals to gamma of so we are just putting the value of n is equals to minus 5 by 2 in this particular formula here so after putting this formula here we'll be getting it is equals to minus 2 by 5 gamma of minus 3 by 2 so this is minus 5 by 2 can be written as minus 2 by 5 and this minus 5 by 2 plus 1 will give us minus 3 by 2 as the uh, you can say a subtraction over here and this is again we are applying this minus 3 by 2 this formula the same formula we are applying for minus 3 by 2 as well so it's minus 2 by 5 so here in this case whenever we are solving this particular gamma at that time n is equals to minus 3 by 2 so if we are putting n, n equals to minus 3, 3 by 2 in this particular formula here so we'll be getting something like this which is just by adjusting that minus 3 by 2 and minus 2 by 5 can be reduced as 4 by 15 into gamma of minus 1 by 2 and we know that so that is what again in this case again n is equals to minus 1 by 2 and we are applying the same formula here so it's 4 by 15 gamma of minus 1 by 2 plus 1 upon minus 1 by 2 now this is this becomes here minus 8 by 5 into gamma of 1 by 2 so it's a, just a subtraction over here so minus 1 by 2 plus 1 will give us 1 by 2 which is under the gamma we know the property 2 says that gamma of 1 by 2 is square root of pi and therefore this particular answer for this particular gamma of minus 5 by 2 is minus 8 square root of pi by 15. So we would not be uh, receiving this type of examples but yes definitely we are going to use this type of uh, reduction formula to get or to reach to the gamma free terms at the end. Okay one more so gamma of 8 by 5 is equals to 0.8935 so value of gamma of 8 by 5 is given to us and we need to find out the value of gamma of minus 12 by 5 i'll just go quickly because again it's a negative fraction if it is a negative fraction in this case here n is equals to minus 12 by 5 again it's a negative so we are just putting the value here n equals to minus 12 by 5 after getting this we'll be having this minus 5 by 12 into gamma of this so now that means what again it is nothing but going to have it uh, like this here so this is what we are having it right and therefore we can go ahead with this particular so it's a minus 12 by 5 plus 1 upon minus 12 by 5 again this has been reduced to the uh, minus 7 by so so in between step i have not written here just try to get this type of steps i just wanted to have you uh, all you have to just pause the video try to get this particular uh this the steps have been given to you here and the answer is minus 1.108 for this particular question 
so this is all about the introduction about the gamma function this particular examples this type of examples or this type of steps we are going to use it whenever we are going for the questions based on the gamma function okay thank you so much happy learning